question 144 select the option which is not correct with respect to enzyme action now the first option is substrate binds with enzyme at its active site that is true addition of lot of succinate does not reverse the inhibition of succinic dehydrogenase by malonate now in this case succinic dehydrogenase is an enzyme for which the substrate is succinate but to the enzyme malonate can bind and malonate here is the competitive inhibitor so in this case enzyme plus inhibitor they form enzyme inhibitor complex instead of the usual enzyme plus substrate enzyme substrate complex being formed but this reaction is reversible when there is competitive inhibition it is a reversible reaction so if we add lot of succinate then enzyme inhibitor complex will dissociate and now the enzyme would be free to bind with succinate so this choice that addition of lot of succinate does not reverse the inhibition that is not true so the answer is this one the non competitive inhibitor binds to the enzyme at a distinct site which is different from where the substrate would be binding that is correct and malonate is the competitive inhibitor we just now said so this is also true statement so the only false statement here is option number 2 and that would be our answer let's move on to question 145 question 145 which of the following is a non reducing carbohydrates now here we have these four carbohydrates mentioned and any carbohydrate in which the aldehydic or ketonic group is free it would be giving a positive test with Fehling and Benedict's reagent in which it will be reducing the cupric ions when we heat this sugar along with this Fehling solution it will reduce it to cuprous so that the blue color changes to red precipitate now the sugar which is able to give this reaction is said to be a reducing sugar now in this case maltose is reducing sugar lactose is reducing ribose 5-phosphate is also reducing but sucrose is not in this case when the glucose and fructose they bind the glycosidic linkage is formed between the aldehyde group of glucose and ketonic group of fructose so both the functional groups are engaged in forming the glycosidic bond that's why it cannot give this reaction so that is why it is a non-reducing sugar let's move on to the question number 146 question 146 